This is a quick add-on to a video I did earlier about forms and a couple of people that asked me a question about how do you add something to your header because once you've protected your form and um, and when people are filling it up the header cannot be changed so to do that there is an option called style ref so I looked into it quickly and I thought I'll share it with you because it's a pretty neat thing because what it does is it automatically will update your header based on the information that is entered so the question was that they wanted to put in the header the name and the employee ID of the of the person automatically um, so the style ref will do that for you so to do this if you had your template for form you can open it and also you can go to review and then um, you can restrict editing and on the bottom you'll see a button called stop protection and then you put your password so that the protection is not on and after that you can come to the developer tab and then come to the design mode okay and so all we do is I right click on the box where I'm supposed to enter my name and then you go to the properties and in the box you can give it a name so it's always good to give it a meaningful title there and then I'm going to choose the check mark in the new style format and then click on new style and then here too I'll give it a name so I'll give it a call it a name so say if this was ID I'll call it ID so always a meaningful thing is good to do and I click OK and I click OK and then I right click here and I go back to properties and this one is ID or employee ID if you would like and I'll choose the box here again new style and I'll call it ID and it's important because you'll be typing that name in the next steps and I click OK and I click OK, okay. now I'm going to double click on the header and here I want to put the style ref in so to do this first of all I'll have to hold the control key and press F9 so you get those two curly brackets and here I'm going to type style ref style ref space quotation name close it now if I wanted to put the ID right next to it then I'll click here put the space and then press control F9 but if I wanted underneath it I'll hit enter for example and then I press control F9 again and now I'll type here style ref space quotations ID so that's the name of the style we've given it um, it's not necessarily the name we gave to that it's the style that is being applied here okay. and now I'll press alt F9 so that that I don't see those curly brackets okay and then I'll close the header okay now I'll go back to my developer tab and I'll go out of design mode and if I want I can put on the restrict editing and then I can say start enforcement now you have to turn off the design mode otherwise you cannot do the restricting you might have found it out already and now I can click and start I can put a password and I click OK so now that is done so you see as soon as I type the word John Doe there it shows up now if I put an ID number it shows up there automatically so every time people enter any information so you can use style ref in many different places wherever you wanted the data to be automatically updated based on the information that was being entered in the form I thought it was a pretty neat little thing and if you just wanted to look into this uh, when you go to insert quick box and there is this field option here so there's a lot of different fields and if you wanted you can go into the help section and look into these in more detail because this will be really helpful for you to understand it in more detail. So I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.